what, what's the story on this guy? Yeah, for sure. When you find yourself in a live combat situation with a guy who's trained his entire life, you better have the skills to pay the bills. For this video, we go through the good, the bad, the ugly of when fighters of different skill levels and backgrounds collide. You want me to take a spot? You want me to jump in? We could realistically dedicate an entire video to the great Zhu Zhaodong and his mission to eradicate the world of fake martial artists. And in this case, when he took on one of those pressure point masters, he didn't waste any time in making a statement. It's pretty clear just how inexperienced this guy actually was. The way he flailed his arms around in hopes of maybe catching Zhu was kinda hilarious. That's not the approach of someone who's comfortable under fire. It didn't take long for Zhao Dong to get this one finished, and once he scored a few knockdowns, this bout was pretty much over. Yet another feather in Zhao Dong's cap. Easy work, to put it lightly. Tyron Woodley was known for taking his foot off the gas in his UFC championship career, but when he featured on Bully Beatdown to fight some random dude, the chosen one made sure to bring his aggressive A-game, and boy was this one-sided. Woodley started to advance almost immediately, and picked his opponent apart with a selection of increasingly heavy strikes, jabs, leg kicks, body punches. Woodley could choose his weapons with absolutely no fear of retaliation. And when he finally went high with the kick, that pretty much brought this contest to a crashing halt. To say this dude had a puncher's chance would be a bit kind. He realistically had no hope here. If you have 30 plus years of experience training in anything, you'll be expected to be able to perform to a pretty decent standard. But when this longtime kung fu master came up against a relatively inexperienced boxer, the entire limitations of this fighting art form became extremely obvious. He was doing some weird stuff here, stuff that wasn't helping him when it came to dealing with the legitimately threatening boxer who was just waiting for his moment. And when that moment came, it was a pivotal one. A straight punch knocked this three decade long master down, and that was pretty much the story of this showdown. The Kung Fu guy probably was forced to have a very long and difficult conversation with himself after this one. If you go around calling yourself a next generation Bruce Lee, you'd better not fall apart under the pressure. Because when this guy decided to take on this clearly skilled fighter, the difference in their talents became clear very early. And as the girl fighter continued to land with increasing levels of aggression, you could just see our fake Bruce Lee's fighting spirit begin to deteriorate before our very eyes. Eventually, he was gassing out hard, eating a series of big shots that were having more and more of an effect on him. And you could just see he was busted up by the time the fight came to an end. This guy is not on Bruce Lee's level at all. The problem with Wing Chun when you come up against an MMA practitioner is that it kind of leaves a lot of holes in your defense that any skilled mixed martial artist can quickly exploit. And in this case, as soon as the MMA guy got a hold of his opponent, he dragged him to the canvas and effectively ended his night with ease, latching onto a choke that the Wing Chun fighter had no answer for. Before this bout had even got interesting, the Wing Chun guy was forced to accept that there were some major lapses in his ability to deal with a confident grappler. And that's the theme that shows up in a lot of these MMA versus Wing Chun battles. This one is truly abysmal. Not only did this bully come into this gym and try to pick a fight with one of the smallest guys in there, but when this guy started totally beating him up, he proceeded to try and quit and get out of there without taking his punishment. And instantly, you could tell that the whole gym were on his back about it. You can't just waltz in and demand a fight like this and then quit when the going gets tough. Now this guy didn't have enough speed, skill, or enough fighting spirit at all to compete. This next one kind of blurs the lines of this video's subject matter. On one hand, Ray Mercer was an excellent world-class level boxer who would have schooled the mixed martial artist Tim Sylvia if this fight took place in the ring. But this was an MMA fight, and so the advantage was clearly going to Sylvia. All he had to do was to make sure he didn't get caught with that one punch that Mercer was always capable of landing. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. Mercer struck first and put Sylvia out in the opening seconds of this one. Sure, he didn't have a belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but when you have a punch like this, who needs it? You gotta be a pretty cocky dude to stand up in Andre Arlovsky's face 
and try to intimidate him. But hey, that's what Bully Beatdown was for. And in this round, it's not like the former UFC champion even got a chance to punch his rival in the face. But because this was a grappling-only showdown, we got to see Andre totally manhandle him instead. And while there was always the chance of a lucky punch on the feet, there's no such thing as an untrained guy getting a lucky sub on a high-level MMA champion. And this was as simple a challenge for Arlovsky as he's ever had in his legendary career. Taekwondo is the type of martial art that can be formidable against anyone under the right conditions. But if you're coming up against a Santa practitioner who's completely determined to take you down over and over again, you might find yourself in some real trouble real fast. And for this Taekwondo guy, he just couldn't get his game going. The Santa fighter just found the takedown over and over again, using his wide range of trips and throws to totally drag the striker out of his element. And this was probably quite exhausting for the Taekwondo guy, making this a very one-sided battle. We've already watched a few bad ones on this video, but if you're looking for the gold standard on how not to show warrior spirit, this is the video for you. It's our old friend Zhu Zhao Dong again, and this time he's taken on a Tai Chi master who really does look the part when they're squaring off. The problem is that once he ate a single jab to the face, he basically gave up on himself and decided he no longer wanted any part of this bout. That's a pretty embarrassing display, but hey, at least it was a jab and not a huge overhand that caused him to have this epiphany. Charlie Zelenoff has countless videos online of him totally failing to live up to his constant trash talking of pro boxers. And when Charlie Z made the mistake of angering a 61 year old Floyd Mayweather senior, he ended up getting a true beatdown in front of an entire gym. And they seemed to absolutely love watching it play out. Zelenoff was embarrassed, sure, but when he made the mistake of sucker punching the long retired Mayweather in one last attempt to get a victory, that did not go down well at all. As always, Zelenoff ended up getting himself a truly one sided beating, and we can't say that we're too sympathetic to him. This guy's got some legit issues. John Strickland is the type of guy who's always liable to actually invite an online troll to his gym just so he can teach him a lesson in person. That's something that's happened on multiple occasions in the past. And just because Sean will shake your hand and give you respect when it's done, he is not going to be any less mean to you in the cage. And he did not let this guy off the hook at all, bringing that classic high volume style of boxing to this sparring session. And it didn't take long for this inexperienced dude to realize just how far out of his depth he was. This was a totally one sided whooping from the former UFC middleweight champion of the world. This next one is a clash between a boxer and a Kyokushin karate fighter, and you can immediately see how much of a difference having several weapons at your disposal can make when it comes to keeping a more one-dimensional opponent at bay. The karate guy was able to land kicks that the boxer just wasn't used to absorbing, and he had some pretty solid hands too, there's no denying it. A better boxer would have done a more clinical job at intercepting the karate guy's forward movement, but in this case, the karate guy was clearly the better fighter and managed to hurt his opponent with a big body kick dropping him to the mat. And to finish, we have a decent showcase of just how badly Capoeira alone can be in a fight against a more well-rounded opponent. Now, this wasn't a hard session, and you get the sense that these two were just feeling each other out more than anything else. But the Capoeira fighter's spins were just so telegraphed, so easy to read, and as the MMA guy started applying the pressure, you could see the openings in his target's defenses, especially for boxing in close. This wasn't the type of fight that gave us a definitive answer, but it certainly showed us a lot. You really need more to your game to stand up to the type of multi-pronged offense that an MMA fighter can bring.